1. Find a hobby We're always so busy when we're younger. We have to work, we have a social life to maintain, and sometimes we just crave time to ourselves. But once you retire, you're clueless as to what to do with all your free time. And it's for this reason that before you retire, try and explore some of the activities that interest you and could continue even as you step into retirement. There's plenty of different activities you can engage in that are fun and will keep you active. It could be gardening, painting, woodworking, knitting, music, scrapbooking, etc. Whatever it is, look now so you have something to look forward to later on and you'll also get to interact with others about your common interests. There are those who had a few hobbies when they were younger. Maybe their work or family commitments kept them from them. But now, you have all the time in the world to do whatever you want. You liked dancing but never had enough time to put on your dance shoes. Or you liked the feel of the wind in your hair when you rode your motorcycle, but never got around to doing it anymore. Now's your chance to get back on the proverbial horse and pursue the hobbies you didn't have time to do years ago. 2. Travel Traveling is at the top of the bucket list for a lot of retirees. You're guaranteed a lot of free time once you retire, and what better way to spend it than to see the world? Some have a particular city in mind they've always wanted to visit, while others prefer a more constant schedule of travel. And if you're really adventurous, try living in a foreign country for some time, or take a cruise around the world. Whether you enjoyed traveling during your working days, or you never got the chance to travel abroad, now's your chance. And if you don't want to plan on your own, there's a number of travel groups that focus solely on seniors. Flying will take you anywhere, and as for a place to stay, you could always try to be creative and use an Airbnb service if booking a hotel isn't your style. Travel as we know can be expensive, but it doesn't have to be. If your budget is a bit tight, don't despair. You could try living in one place for a while, or rent an RV and hit the road. And if you'd like, you could rent out your house during your travels, and let the money you get from it pay for your many adventures. When you're on a trip, savor the experience, and start planning for the next one as soon as you can. There's a lot to see out there, and many lasting memories to be made. 3. You can teach You've lived quite the life, and you've seen and experienced many things. And of course, with age comes wisdom. If teaching is something you'd like to do during your retirement, then go for it. Some schools and unis are in need of teachers. You could hold seminars and teach and pass on valuable lessons, especially to the younger generation, who could surely benefit from someone who has vast experience. Some public or private schools or even colleges require additional education that you can easily get. Of course, there are those that have opportunities for those without teaching degrees. Tutors, teacher's assistants are all needed at schools and don't require you to have experience as an educator. If you'd like, you could also teach in areas where there's a shortage of teachers and make a difference in a child's life. If the traditional setting isn't for you, you could always create an online video course and earn money by teaching people from all over the world. Becoming a tutor online or in person is also another way to go about it. Another option is skill sharing. This is one way to combine both learning and teaching. You offer to teach someone something you are good at, and in return, they could teach you something as well. You could look for such groups in your area or connect with others online. Whatever it is that you're good at or an expert in, you can teach it to others. 4. Volunteer This is one of the routes that many retirees end up taking as they find it rewarding. Just think about what you'd like to do and which organizations you'd like to work with and make a point of contacting them. There are so many ways you could help. You could help out in hospitals or libraries or community centers. You could mentor kids or assist a volunteer group in your area. The opportunities are endless. There are always people who need an extra pair of hands. The best part of volunteering is that you get to give back to the community in ways that are beneficial to you as well as those you're assisting. A study carried out in Washington University reported that seniors who take part in more hours of volunteer work report higher levels of well-being. And this is regardless of gender, race, or social status. Volunteering doesn't have to be locally alone. You could also volunteer overseas. Several organizations take on a number of projects, which range from working in schools to assisting sustainable development in places like Africa, Bangladesh, and Cambodia. Some retirees find what they miss is a sense of contributing to the success of others. There are very few things that give you the feeling you get when you help another human being. No matter where you are, there's always people who need your help. Even if you don't believe it, the world still needs you. All you need to do is find out where on earth this is. 5. Write You don't need some advanced level of education to write a book. You can write whatever you want. 
You could compile all your life experiences to come up with a guide on how to enjoy life fully. Anyone can write, and if you don't feel like putting pen to paper, you could use a laptop to type or even a speech-to-text software. Writing memoirs of the life you've lived could be very insightful to your readers. It might be a bit more challenging for first-time writers, but there's a number of sites that could help you get started or you can continue with classes or attend workshops. Many of us have the desire to write a book, but more often than not fail to do so. If you have a story inside you, all you need is a bit of commitment. Write a little every day, and before you know it, your book will begin to take form. 6. Take part in sports and keep fit A lot of folks didn't get the chance to practice a sport during the years they spent working, and sometimes they feel inept trying to learn something that others have perfected over time. This shouldn't be a hindrance from taking up a sport. Those who have taken part in them at a later stage have experienced all the benefits that come with it. Some of these activities include tennis, boating, biking, and fishing, and so on. Many retirees tend to pick up golf. It's a great way to get in some exercise while connecting with friends and family. You could walk around the course or rent a car if movement is a hassle. It's also a low-impact sport, but very fun and competitive at the same time. Keeping fit is one of the ways that can make your retirement life better in a number of ways. You'll be healthier, more energetic, and have a much better mindset. Fitness is wide, and you don't have to stick to only one. Aside from sports, you could join a Pilates class, yoga, spinning, and more. Yoga is said to be an ideal form of exercise for seniors, since there aren't any movements that would likely lead to injury. Pilates is also a great choice, as it makes you more flexible. You could always take a class with an instructor if you're a beginner, so as to be guided with the proper form and alignment. Or, you could do this from home using videos. The CDC also recommends weight training, as it improves balance, relieves arthritis, manages weight and diabetes, strengthens the heart, and allows you a better and restful sleep. The older you get, you're prone to certain conditions, such as heart disease, diabetes, and obesity. Exercising can really contribute longevity of life and make you feel better. Your metabolism isn't as it used to be, so it's wise to do something about it and live out your golden years for as long as possible. Joining a gym is an option, as it's very social and good for you. You don't have to do any heavy lifting, as most gyms have programs that cater to seniors. You could join a walking club and chat with friends as you get your steps in. 7. Get a part-time job You might be wondering why you left the workforce only to join it again, but one reason is you might need the extra cash. It's also a great chance to start something new that's totally unrelated to what you did before. Getting a part-time job, something that's less pressure, allows you to get out of the house for a while, interact with others, and make a few bucks. It also contributes to your income and 401k and pension, if you have them. You could be a bookkeeper, athletic coach, barista, babysitter, or blogger. It's possible to land a fun and fulfilling job at a great place, where you get to interact with so many people and make a little extra cash at the same time. Eight learn new things. Learning goes on throughout our lifetime, and retirement is a great time to learn something new. Learning to play an instrument, for example, is wonderful. You don't have to have a single musical bone in your body. The piano is a great place to start, or the guitar. Singing is also something you could get into. You could take the time to learn a new language. It's never too late. It's especially beneficial for those who plan on traveling. It's a fun activity that will keep your mind sharp. You could utilize apps like Duolingo and Babbel, language books or CDs. A few words in any language goes a long way, but the more you know, the better the experience. Imagine using your French to order coffee at a cafe in France. Amazing, right? You could try art. All you need is a pad and a few pencils to start with, and you could learn online or at an ideal college that offers affordable classes for seniors. There's so much more you could learn. Learning new things is a wonderful way to keep your brain healthy and functioning. 9. Keep in touch with friends and family. You probably didn't get the chance to spend time with loved ones during your working years. Retirement is a great time to reach out to them and catch up. Friends help you to stay connected to the world and give you a greater sense of purpose. It's important to keep having these friendships. You could spend time with old friends and coworkers, discussing a number of different topics, and even organize monthly get-togethers. You can make new friends as well, especially if you move to a new place. Get out, meet new people, go to popular hangout spots once in a while, and you're bound to find a few people who you'll click with and have a lot in common. Spending time with the younger generation is a good idea as you're exposed to new things and they learn things from you too. Retirement is a wonderful time to spend with the grandkids too, if you're blessed enough to have them. You can tell them all your amazing life stories and you get to learn about all the interesting things that interest them. It really is a win-win. They keep you young and you help them grow up.
With that said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you found value in the video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend or two. If you're new to the channel, welcome and consider subscribing for more content like this. With that said, have a great day you guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.